Hi guys, welcome back. I just got back from camp. And we had such a great time. It was a lot of fun, but with all that fun comes, uh, we kicked ourselves out of ketosis. It happens, you know what? Sometimes we just do that and we can't be hard on ourselves because we are human and it happens. But I did put myself back into ketosis within 24 hours by fasting and drinking my water with tons of electrolytes. And that is the key is a fast always helps. And I've noticed that drinking my electrolytes helps a whole lot too. So I am barely having my first cup of coffee right now and it is about 5.30. So this is my first thing that I'm putting into me and I've actually been okay all day today. I haven't felt too bad and I haven't been really hungry where I'm just like starving, but I had a really fatty dinner last night um, and I haven't ate since yesterday about six, about six o'clock last night. And now I'm having my first cup of coffee. Dinner is in the oven, so I am cooking dinner. We're gonna have some chicken breast, um, stuffed chicken breast with um, cream cheese, jalapeno, and chive. That's what we're putting inside of those chicken breasts and then some asparagus. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and have a really large salad, which I have salad with every meal. Yeah, I have a salad for everything I eat. A uh, huge salad, love to load it up. I put some shredded cheese, I put olives and tomatoes, um, cucumber. You guys can put whatever you want. Um, I put almond slices just to kind of give it a little bit of a crunch. And the salad dressings that we have totally been digging lately, and it's made out of olive oil, I mean avocado oil, is the Primal Kitchen. Amazing stuff, I love this stuff. We have tried Green Goddess, The Ranch, this is the Caesar, they, he has tons of them. And I also have a, quite a few of his um, mayos, which are also avocado oil. They have a little bit of a funny taste, but you get used to it and I absolutely love them and super high in fat and that's what you're looking for when you're on keto because you're wanting to meet that 70 to 75 percent. So I went ahead and bought another one. I just I keep loading up. I can't stop buying them. I'm like I gotta try every single one. They're all good and so in my coffee now that I'm finally having it is um, I put my collagen and the collagen that I use and I use my collagen every single morning, every single day, whenever I drink my Bulletproof coffee and I use by Sports Research. This is my favorite brand. I use their vitamins. I have their collagen, um, protein powders. I, I love that brand. Um, I use that and I also put in my MCT oil, which I keep in this. I love it, it makes it look cute because I have it sitting out. So I don't want people to be like, oh, what's that bag doing sitting up there? So I put it inside that little container. And the brand that I use for my MCT is by Carrington Farms. And I buy it at Walmart. I have a, I have a super Walmart, live in Utah. Been lucky enough to go grocery shopping and buy some clothes and a television, all the same shop. So I use that one, it's about $4 and it's a powder form. I love it, it does the same exact thing as those more expensive like MCT drops or whatever they are. I've tried quite a bit of them and this is the same exact. And I'll tell you, if I put in that extra scoop, which I can only do, I just need one tablespoon. If I put in that extra tablespoon, I'm like flying off the walls. So I really gotta like, Dime it down, dime it down guys. So I just have my one tablespoon in my coffee. Then I also make um, bulletproof coffee um, pods, I guess. And you can do it per cup or you can make a large quantity uh, inside of your of an ice cube tray. And that's usually what I do. At the beginning of each week, I like to um, load up everything that I'm gonna need throughout the week as far as my fat bombs, um, my coffee pods for my Bulletproof coffees, uh, any sort of sweets because you know that urge kind of comes around and I want a muffin or I want a donut. 
So I'll make, I'll spend a whole day just making, you know, my chocolate keto donuts or, you know, my lemon cakes, something, just something. So I'm not tempted to reach for something outside of keto. Uh, the Bulletproof Coffee pods that I make, I do have on my website, so you can always check that out on there, or I can tell you right now. So if you're gonna do it per cup, I used um, two tablespoons of grass-fed butter and one tablespoon of coconut oil. But when I do the large amounts, which I put inside of the freezer, I use the three-fourths cup of grass-fed butter and a cup and a half of coconut oil. I'm sorry. I am looking out my keto Bible. This is my Bible. Every recipe that I make that's keto goes in there, but it's top secret. Most of them. Um, but that's what I do. I take it, um, cook it on the stove top, melt it down, the butter and the coconut oil, and you can add in vanilla. You can add in some cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice I've done. You can also use the sugar-free syrups, and I'll add that in after I'm done melting down the coconut oil and the butter on the stove. You can also microwave it, it's fine too. And then I pour them into um, my ice cube trays. Oh my gosh, brain freeze, I swear. I don't even know where my mind went. So I pour it inside of my, there I go again, my ice cube trays, and I freeze them. After they're done being frozen, I pop them out and I put them in a freezer container um, just for those. So it's just quick and easy. I come in here, grab my pod, put my coffee inside of my Nutribullet, add in my collagen, add in my MCT. I blend it all together. I, sometimes I'll add a little bit of heavy cream, just kind of like depending on my mood um, and kind of what I'm eating throughout the day. If I need that extra amount of fat or whatever, I will add in my heavy cream and I blend that up and I'll tell you it is the most frothiest, delicious, yummy, bulletproof coffee. So give it a try. Recipe is on my website if you need it. Um, also, I like to make little, this is breakfast. This is an egg fat bomb. And I put in smoked salmon and avocado. So I chunked up the avocado. I did three scrambled eggs. I whipped up three eggs, put a little heavy cream in there, put in some avocado oil as well, put in some fresh avocado, which I diced up just a half of an avocado. And then I put in my smoked salmon, which is high in omega-3, which is really good for your hair and your skin and your nails. You wanna make sure that you're getting all those good vitamins, um, put it back into your body. So I make those, they're quick and easy, just in case I might not have had as much fat as I needed the night before. Those will kind of help me make it throughout the day, um, midday, like I'll pop one of those and just, I'll be fine if I'll eat one of those. I have my coffee. I won't be hungry again until about dinner time, which is about 6.30 or seven o'clock is when we eat dinner. And I don't eat after six, after 7.30, I stop eating. So if you guys want to get back into ketosis and you wanna do it quick, go into a fast. I do sometimes a 16 to a 18 hour fast and make sure you're getting plenty of water, plenty of electrolytes, and you'll, ki you'll kick yourself right back into ketosis, especially if you've been in ketosis for a while and your body is just a fat burning machine. It's so much easier to adjust, you know, and jump off and then get back on, but you don't wanna do it too often. You don't wanna do that to yourself too much. So I'm very, very limited, guys. You wanna keep your body running and burning that healthy, the healthy fuel. So um, that's about all I have to say today. Um, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see some more kind of videos like this in the future, maybe me cooking some recipes that I have, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe and get weekly videos every Wednesday. I will be posting on here. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram at ooh underscore pretty underscore keto underscore. And also check out my website. I have tons of tricks just starting out on keto for beginners, shopping lists, recipes. And I promise I am working on my weekly 
food plan. I promise you guys it's almost done. I've just been super busy. So it is just about done, but be sure to check out my website, www.ooprettyketo.com and get on there. I'm not crazy with emails, so don't worry. I'm not going to bother you. Just jump on there. It is also friendly for your phone. So if you're out and about, you can jump on there, see the shopping list, see what you need, see what's keto friendly. And you guys have a wonderful night. I am going to eat my dinner and relax. You guys take it easy and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye guys.